Hi, I'm Kelly King from CRK Training. The topic of today's video is going to be applying boots. So this is a topic that I've received a lot of questions about. People usually ask me, you know, they see a horse maybe at their barn wearing boots and they're not quite sure if they should be putting them on their horse or, you know, what type of boots and just kind of the general questions of when and where are putting boots on your horse appropriate. So I went through my closets and all my stuff here at the barn. I pulled out several different types of boots that I've collected over the years. And I'm going to talk about today when I use these different types of boots and how you put them on. And I'm here with my horse now and she's a little bit fidgety. So hopefully she'll stand still for us as we're putting her boots on today. So the first ones that I'm going to talk about are galloping boots. Now a lot of times you will see these on like dressage horses, eventers. These are just the style of them is more of an English style. That's why I mentioned those dressage and eventing. Those are the sports that you're going to see these used. The what I'm going to call kind of the more western style or western version of these is the splint boot which is basically usually just kind of a smaller version. The purpose of these is to protect the leg. So it doesn't, these don't really give a lot of support to the leg, but they protect the leg mainly from interference from, you know, the hind legs like reaching up or the horse knocking himself, um, you know, with his opposite foot as he's, as he's moving. They can also protect against, you know, if you're cross country jumping, they can protect if your horse hits a fence, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on her and these are basically the same boot. These just have a neoprene lining. These have a fleece lining. A lot of that is, uh, is personal preference. I've, you know, there's arguments for, for both styles. Now when you put on a boot, you basically put it on similar to a wrap in that you're always going to be putting it on the leg like this so the straps are facing back and the tension when you close the strap, when you put the boot on, is pulling across the front of the leg and pulling back. And it's going to be the same with all of the boots that I'm going to show you today. So what I'm going to do here, I come down, you want to start by just centering the boot on your horse's leg. You'll feel that most of these boots even when they're new, have a little bit of a contour to them. And especially as they get broken in, you want to kind of usually start them, slide them down so the hair is smooth, and you'll find where they just kind of fit on the horse. You usually start with the top strap. You want to pull it snug. Do the same with the bottom. And it is important to apply the boots snugly because if you make them too loose and the horse is traveling, they can slide around, they can shift, and you know, just it's a safety thing because your horse could end up tripping on his boot if you don't apply the straps snugly enough and the boot ends up coming off. So this is how you would apply a simple galloping style boot or a splint boot. And just another thing, it's also important to keep the Velcros clean on your boots and that'll also you know, help keep them on, keep them snug. So the next boot that we're going to go over is these are Professional's Choice. These are called a sport boot. Professional's Choice is just the brand that is uh, pretty popular for this style of boot. And these also provide protection, but they also give some support to the leg. So they're designed just a little bit differently, mainly in that they have this what they call kind of a sling that is going to go um, around the horse's fetlock. You'll see when I put on and provide a little bit of support to that joint. So this would be a little bit more like if you wear say like a wrist, a, a wrist brace as you're maybe playing a sport or something like that. So same thing here when you put this boot on you want to feel it kind of snug into place. You want to also make sure that these sport boots are shaped so that they do go around this fetlock joint. You want to make sure you have that in the right place. Now with these, I've just found that they tend to work a little better if you apply the middle strap first and then I'll do the top strap and I'll do the lower strap and make sure to have it snug. And now this is what the main difference between those galloping boots that I showed you. This you're going to pull under that horse's joint and bring up on an angle just like that. And that's what provides a little bit of extra support to that joint. So again, if you're doing a more rigorous activity with your horse, you know, that support can be really useful. All right, let me take this one back off. And 
And also these, these first two that I showed you, these can be used on both front legs or hind legs. So sometimes you have to buy a size bigger for the hind legs, but both these styles can be used on front, hind, you know, you can use them on all four legs. Most of the time you'll see horses with boots just on the front because that's where most commonly horses will interfere, meaning they'll knock themselves with another foot as they're traveling. Um, and sometimes you'll see them on all four legs. Okay, so what I have next is a full set of, these are basically called jumping boots. So this is an ankle boot and this is an open front jumping boot. Now, these are again, these are basically for protection, protection against interference as the horse is traveling. And these open front jumping boots are designed this way because a lot of times when horses are taught or when horses are jumping fences in the ring, you want the horse to be able to feel the rail if he hits it and he knocks it over so that next time, for obvious reason, he picks his feet up a little bit more and learns to lift himself a little bit more as he jumps. That's why these are open in the front. So it, essentially it's just, some of those are pretty padded depending on the horse. Um, you know, there's the theory that he can learn to hit the jumps and it doesn't hurt and he's gonna be a little bit less careful with his feet. And of course in show jumping, stadium jumping, hunters, anything where you're jumping in the ring, the rails tend to be more lightweight so they can fall pretty easily and you want the horse to not wanna touch the rails. Okay, so this is the uh, open front boot. Again, you'll notice the same as the other two. You're putting these that the straps are facing back, making it snug, and then this just has that strap that goes down and basically provides a little more security that the boot's not gonna come off. Most of the time, you will see these ankle boots on the rear leg. And same thing on the rear. You want this going back, straps going back. And these are just gonna go, as their name suggests, right here on the ankle. And where you apply the Velcro, basically rests right above the ankle, like it is right there. So those are the boots that I have for you today. There's a lot of different brands that are gonna have a slightly different look. And there are some other styles of boots, but these are the most common. So to kind of go back and answer the question of when and where do you put boots on your horse, uh, the answer is it depends. So if you have a horse that interferes, meaning that he knocks himself and he nicks his legs when he's moving, the first thing that you probably want to look at is making sure that there's not something physically, something, you know, soreness in his back or something like that that's actually causing that interference. You know, if you've completely ruled that out and it's just happening because, you know, you're doing a, uh, something, a sport that has a lot of activity and it just happens sometimes, then a boot is gonna be really good. Also, you know, for myself, if I'm doing something like cross-country schooling, where again, it's, you know, pretty rigorous, jumps are, you know, a lot of big solid logs, and the horse can knock himself on those pretty hard, I'll put the boots on my horse for a little extra support. Other than that, you know, with my horses and the horses that come in for training, when I'm just doing the normal work that I do in the ring, I don't bother with the boots just because, you know, my horses don't interfere and I haven't really found a need for them. So that is my answer to the questions that I've gotten on wearing boots. Hope you find it helpful. In the comments, go ahead and tell me if you wear boots on your horse, why you do, and if there's a style or a brand that you prefer or would suggest to others that maybe ride the same sport or have the same problem. So I'll talk to you in the comments and I will see you at crktrainingblog.com. Thank you.